here on Pit Pals TV, we have a special visit. We're at the Indianapolis Zoo, a fine, accredited, wonderful conservation zoo, and we're in the Sharks location now. This is the Oceans Building, and I'm talking with Casey Schmidt, who knows all about the sharks and the stingrays. Yeah. Wow. Tell me, tell me what I need to know. The water's really warm here. It is warm. That's warm for our guests' comfort, and our animals are comfortable in that that temperature as well. Uh, we here at the zoo have smooth dogfish sharks, cow nose rays, and southern stingrays, which are all native to the Atlantic Ocean. So you can see them off the coast of the U.S. Wow. So this is for. I mean, we all can't go out and see them in the ocean. That's but true. But you can come here to the zoo and see them. Yeah. And we need to know something about sharks. First off, people are afraid of them. What? Why should we be? Why should we be? of sharks um, and of course the news likes to highlight all the worst stories about okay, sharks yeah. and so there are a few species of sharks that can be dangerous to the humans but the vast majority of them are just doing their job making sure we have healthy ecosystems in our oceans right, they right. act as predators so we can help control fish populations properly okay. and they actually help keep our oceans healthy so we really should be thanking sharks not being afraid of oh, them and these are these are tiny sharks in here these are these smooth dogfish sharks max out at about five feet long Okay. So you might be thinking of great white sharks when you envision sharks, but there are hundreds of different species out there, and they oh. come in sizes basically from the size of my hand all the way up to over 50 feet long. And the biggest ones, they mostly eat some of the smallest things in the ocean, so wow. they don't pose a, a danger to us. Yes. Okay, tell me about the stingrays in here. They're kind of small too, the ones here. They are. Now, uh, we have two types of stingrays. We've got cow nose rays, and some of the animals in here are full size, although we do have a little baby named Squiggles with us today. Squiggles! Squiggles! Okay. Oh, yeah! That's cute. We also have southern stingrays, and they do max out at around four to six feet wide. Um, but the reason we have sharks and rays in the same pool is because they are related to each other. I've heard rays referred to as basically flat sharks. So compared to other fish in the ocean, they have skeletons that are made out of cartilage rather than bones. Huh. And so they're closely re related uh, animals and they have a lot of the same body parts. I didn't know that. Yeah. We learn something every day at the zoo. <laughs> okay, uh, and uh, you, you see all the people in here, you're really crowded here, yeah. which is good. Everybody wants to get out again. You can touch them. That's right, this is our touch pool. So if guests are interested, we want to get them connected to wildlife all around the world and show them that sharks aren't scary, they're right. very cool. So right. people can come to our touch pool and they'll get a chance to touch one of our sharks or rays. Okay, I want to I want to pet a shark, but I, oh, I want to ask you, all the, all the sharks in here are male, is that right? That's right, we do have female sharks that live over in, when you first come into the Oceans Building, they have a habitat with other fish and some rays in there as well, but all of the males, we found that they're just better suited to this particular situation. A little separation sometimes is good. Okay. <laughs> no cooties. Let's 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 pet a shark. Sure. Yeah. All right, okay. Here comes a large oh, one, oh, and oh. here comes a small one. So let's do that. Two fingers, and you might have to roll up your sleeve. Ah! <laughs> that was fun. Thank you so much, yeah. Casey. Casey, for Pet Pals TV, we're here at the Indianapolis Zoo, and we invite you to come on out.